one we did release as a single, um, which I thought again had a chance, but uh, was the song strictly so only seventeen. Did a little video for it, which was uh, animated thing was quite fun. This was very much built up out of a. It's called was called dot, which is a way of playing. Which I mean, you know, if you play with an echo, and a, a lot of quaver, is it? What dotted quaver? Dotted quaver. So you, so in a sense, what it does, as opposed to being a sort of a, a straight echo, it's actually in time, but a dotted. So it skips. It goes, skip. did it, so it did gives it, it a skip. It. Yeah. So um, it, obviously you can't play anything with that because sometimes the notes clash too much, but you get a great effect. And, uh, you know, particularly when you quantize it, I'm afraid, which I did on this, it kind of puts it absolutely in time and you get a great sort of scampering effect. So it just it, it's kind of again it's where a sound sort of makes you write a song and I just found you hitting anything and it's sort of sounding quite good and you get little little moments where the, the chords kind of interfere with each other which is actually quite attractive you know and it sort of emerges emerges out of it. You had quite a good gated sound on this as well that went with that beat. Mm -hmm. What drums was that? It was uh, just here. <laughs> Yeah, just adding a bit of power to power to it there, really. But that, yeah, it's a. I mean, a lot of people do. I mean, it's been done many times, but it's just somehow you know it does create a certain kind of effect. <laughs> 